If you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I was too. And then I started one. So I'm going to tell you the five do's and don'ts of starting up a YouTube channel. Now, bear with me. I'm just a beginner. But I thought that it would be pretty cool to make a beginning viewpoint on starting a YouTube channel. So, I'm about to show you the five do's and don'ts from a beginner's perspective. So, check me out. Do research. So, make sure you're researching. Here's my little doggy Jojo. Look at Jojo. Hey, Joey. Hey, Joey. My name's Joey. I am a girl, but I sound like this. Oh, Joey. Anyway, just thought you would like to see that. Do your research. It's very, very important that you know your audience. Know what you want to do. Find your niche in the YouTube sphere. Um, oh, Joy's wanting to do that, so let's, let's let her leave. All right, Joe, you're good. Here, get a treat, 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 treat. See it? Good girl. Give me a paw. Good girl. 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 See you later. Anyway, you gotta do the research. I have spent countless hours looking up things like the perfect tag, the perfect title, the keywords that people are searching for, the colors that attract people to watching videos. The research is limitless. Get out there and research. Make sure you're just not putting out videos just to put out videos. Make sure that you have an audience that will want to watch that video and that takes research. Invest in people because people are the ones that are watching your videos. So make sure you do that. Research, research, research. Search everything. I would definitely take the time to research if I continue to grow my channel. Research, research, research. Research! Don't. Click on your own ads. What do I mean? Uh, there's a reason that I took a couple of days off from making film. Yeah, I was suspended. That's right, YouTube. WCU, CP, I got suspended for 30 days. Why did I get suspended? Well, because I was clicking on my own ads. So, when you see an ad, for example, make sure you hit the skip button if you're watching it through your own channel um, because you will be flagged for self-clicking. Now, if you're monetizing your videos and you're trying to make money on you know your videos and everything and you've clicked to monetize, you've set up Google AdSense and everything, but you were super excited just like I was and you just hit accept, accept, accept. You didn't read the fine print. It gets the best of us. Well, that fine print tells you that you are not allowed to click on any ad through your channel. So what it does is give false data to Google and they don't want you doing it. So very, very important, don't. Do not click on your own ads or you will be suspended and you will be suspended for 30 days. Exactly 30 days. You cannot appeal it, so don't even try. Do make videos with decent quality. A mainstay, but it's definitely something that you definitely need to definitely consider, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I said definitely a lot, but when you're talking about a good video, just make sure that people can understand what they're seeing. Most people have a smartphone and that smartphone does a fantastic job of delivering decent quality. 
I'm using my cell phone right now uh, before I pick up my camera that's coming tomorrow. But uh, it's doing pretty good quality. I'm looking at myself on my cell phone and I look good. You should definitely make sure that that is a do for your YouTube channel. Don't lie in the tag and title. I know what you're thinking. But I can get so many views if I just put a stupid title up there just to get people to come to my channel. It's called clickbait. Now listen, sometimes you can get clickbait to work for you. Don't put man poops inside of a bear and expect people to come to your channel and leave thumbs up when all they see is a gummy bear coming from your mouth. Don't do that. Don't lie. Be honest, be truthful. Let people know what they're about to jump into. Because again, the point is for you to build the relationship through your videos on YouTube. Don't lie to people. People don't like being lied to. So please keep that in mind. Be honest and truthful in your title and in your tags. Do promote yourself and your channel. This one is pretty self-explanatory. In order for you to grow your channel, you need to promote yourself and your channel. Get people to know who you are and what you're about on your channel. That would come through just literally going out of a door and yelling your YouTube channel for the high heavens to hear you. That you see you, CC! You can use social media avenues, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Just promote yourself. Get yourself out there in the webosphere. Literally, get yourself out there. That's all I really can tell you about that. Don't. Use copyrighted material. If it ain't yours, don't use it. And if you do use it, make sure you give credit. People take their hard earned time to produce good quality things and they should be credited for such. So don't go in and not give credit where credit is due. Plus, you'll start to get copyright strikes from YouTube which can permanently ban your YouTube channel. So make sure you're giving credit where credit is due. You can always go with non-copyrighted music for your background. You can always go with non-copyrighted images for your background. All you have to do is search it. Seriously. Type in non-copyrighted music. Tons of videos will pop up that you can use for your video. And if you have to use copyrighted material for whatever purposes, make sure you put the disclaimer there that you are using material that isn't your own. Make sure you credit it. It's not yours. It's someone else's. So make sure that they get the credit for doing so. Do have a schedule. From the research, like I told you to do, I've seen numerous people say, you have to, for my viewers and my subscribers, I have to myself throw out a schedule. For my viewers and for my subscribers, I am telling you right here, right now, here is my schedule. Since I've started grad school, since I'm engaged, since I have a full-time job, I am dedicating my weekends to uploading content. I am going to be uploading every weekend, Friday night, Saturday night, from Sunday night, but be assured you will get at least one video every weekend. Sometimes more than once. I am dedicated to giving one video a weekend until the summer and then it's gung ho. All that to say you need to have a schedule. People need to know when you are going to be airing new content. That you owe that to your viewer. You owe that to that subscriber. So be sure you have a schedule. Don't. Stop making videos. So we kind of hit on this in the do. Always produce content. The moment you stop producing content is the moment people get bored with you and unsubscribe. Produce content on the regular. If you just stop making videos and expect to do well with YouTube, that's not going to happen. You go look at the biggest YouTubers and they have over thousands of videos on their channel. 
So again, make sure you're producing content. Always produce. Don't stop producing content. Do. Invest in your channel. Yes. You need to spend a little money, maybe a lot of money, if you got it. Invest in your channel. Making quality videos that we talked about, it requires a little bit of money. I'm investing in my channel because it's a brand. It's who you are, and it's what people are going to see, and it pertains to you. So, you need to invest, not only in your channel, but in yourself. I started off with my cell phone <laughs> to do my voice recordings because I didn't have a microphone. I get a microphone tomorrow. I also started off with this. That's a makeshift webcam, but I'm getting a camera tomorrow. And you know, there's other things about starting the YouTube channel, but again, you should definitely invest in your YouTube channel. I have editing software, maybe four or five different software programs that I use that I've invested in. You're gonna have to put up a little bit of money to make money. Don't ever limit yourself. Another self-explanatory. Don't, don't listen to people who say that you can't because you can't. There is no one of these. Don't listen to naysayers. All they do is deter you and detract. There is no limit. You shoot for as high as you possibly can go because that's going to bring in the better content. Don't limit yourself. Make sure you're, you're going down each and every avenue that you can to bring great content to your viewers, to your subscribers because you're unique and you have a special something that the world needs to see. So don't ever limit yourself. Do not listen to those people who say that you cannot, because you can. You can do anything. Make sure you don't ever limit yourself. All of that to say this, anyone can start a YouTube channel and anyone can be successful in starting a YouTube channel. Just take into consideration these 10 things, the do's and don'ts of starting up a YouTube channel from a beginner's perspective. These are the things that I want you to know as you start just like I am. Well, understand that there are lucrative benefits of starting up a YouTube channel. I've already made a little bit of money on my channel. It'll start to pay off. Google AdSense, brand deals, once you hit 1,000 subscribers, people will pay you to promote their product on your channel. Get out there, make videos, do these things, don't do these things, have fun doing it. It's W-C-U-C-P. And I'm out. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Just come see me. That's definitely gonna be in the outtakes. <laughs> it's my neighbor over there. Oh, you're gonna be. It's recording. That'll be in there. That'll be in my outtakes.